Good day to you. It's the last day of the month. It is 2017, January the 31st. We're going into a little hive, doing a hive inspection. Uh, sorry I didn't start videoing until after I took the lid off. Took the lid off and I just set it over here on the ground, set it down real easy. Before I opened the hive up, I gave them a little smoke in the entrance. And then you easily open up on each side and give them a little smoke on the inside. And that's going to calm them down before you go in them. And just be real gentle. And we're going in here. I'm already five frames into the hive. And all of these are full of honey still. And they're actually bringing in some nectar. And this frame here that I just pulled out. They've backfilled with brood, so the queen's laid up here. Uh, so if you, if you zoom in a little bit, you can see young larva. Can you see them? Here, there's some right there, too. There we go. Yep. See them that way. So there's the eggs also in this frame. That's one thing I'm looking for right here. You can see these kind of yellowish specks. And then right over here as well, packed in there, that's all pollen that the bees are bringing in. And so that's protein for them. Also the bees, let me move these girls out of the way. Let you see right here, all that's nectar. That's what they turn into honey, okay? So they'll mix it together. And what we call in beekeeping is bee bread. That's what they, they'll keep that long, or long, they'll keep that uh, right beside their larva. Uh, and so that's the food for the developing larva, food for them as well. All of this is capped honey along the top. So if I push that in, there's gonna be some good old honey come out of there. Good I stuff. The eggs. Can you see the eggs? We may have to get over there in the light. Can you? No. Okay, let's get over here in the sunlight. Okay, if you look right here in this cell, super small. There's a little bitty speck in there, like a grain of rice, but it's it's really small. When the queen lays it in there, it's going to be in, on end. Okay, I see it. In three days, that egg will dissolve the outer shell and it will be a small larva let's find some there's some right there some super small larvas can you see them mm -hmm. and then so as they grow as they continue to feed them they get bigger so they get big like that they get so big they look like they won't be able to fit inside that cell and that's they'll They'll uh, cap it off. They'll put wax over it. Let's find some. Let's just girl get off of my finger. Don't we don't have any cat, cat brood on this frame, but we'll show you some cat brood in a little bit. And uh, the bees will stay on top of that brood and keep it warm like a chicken sitting on an egg to make it simple. Uh, and then after, it takes 21 days to have from egg to a bee crawling out of that brood to have a worker bee. So, so it's pretty neat. Let's get, it, get back over here to this side. So when you put a frame back in here, I'm not talking to experts out there, but if you're just getting into beekeeping, just be real gentle. Because when you smush bees, that puts off an alarm pheromone. And see these girls, a little bit of honey dripped out and they're they're sucking it back up they're going to reclaim it they don't want that stuff to go to waste they've been working hard to put that stuff in there okay so when you put the frame in there like i said uh you just want to be gentle putting it back in also when you get bees coming up here checking out things see they're up here looking like hey what are you doing and they're, this one right here is watching me so you can give them a little puff of smoke. You don't have to smoke them to death just a little bit unless you have a temperament of bees that are really mean. <laughs> and it, it could be a lot of things. You don't want to go in your hive when it's cold outside. You don't want to go in your hive when it's 
chance of rain. It's cloudy outside. Uh, I told you, you know, we're the last day of January right now, but it's 70 something degrees here. So you don't want to go in your hive until it's around 50 degrees. So anytime you go in your hive, you're changing up their climate controlled environment. They're going to keep their hive about 95 degrees they say year round so if you're going in there you're shocking them if it's cold outside they're gonna you're giving them reason to be upset with you so i'm, I'm kind of pausing because i'm i'm looking to <laughs> whenever i'm going through here i'm looking for the queen that's one thing i'm looking just to see how the bees look their health make sure their wing patterns look good uh this is a treatment-free hive. I've had this hive about three years, I think now. is not it been three years since I did that mm -hmm. split? We raised up queen. Uh, I didn't want to do a split on them. I was throwing honey supers on them, and they swarmed on me. I had a mass of... My wife just reminded me a while ago about... After they swarmed, I had a time with these bees uh, for us because I was going to let them raise up a queen. But it was like they never had one make it back from its her mating flight. So I raised up a queen and gave it to them, and they've done really well since. But I think when they did have one that they raised up, and it wound up being real mean. And so what I did is I went in there. You hate to do it. I smushed a queen, <clears throat> and then I gave them a queen from a different different stock of bees that I have. And you can see their temperament's super good. That's what, how you want your bees to be. So given all of those different variables I gave you about if the weather's pretty outside and you don't have other bees robbing from them and they've got plenty of stores and you go in them and they're eating you up every time, you may want to look at replacing a queen from a general stock uh, of bees. If you got another hive that's doing good, uh, give them a frame from them. Kill that queen. Knock all the queen cells off. Yeah, my bad. That could be another video my wife just told me. So she's keeping me on track. So we're just doing some some uh, first time beekeeping looking at this stuff. So. All right, so I'm still looking. They look real good on their stores. And so when I say stores, I'm meaning any kind of extra honey that they have. The pollen that we just looked at, they're bringing in loads of pollen. There's pollen in there. Even though this frame, the back side doesn't have anything. That's what they've they've used from coming out of winter time. So they're in good shape still. So one thing I would do if I had opened this up and it was a pile of brood up here and the, the queen had been laying up here. Uh, and I found the queen up here. I would take this box off and set it down on the ground, set it on top of my lid, and I go in this box, check it all out. Well, take it off, set it to the side, put this super that I had set on top of the lid down here on the ground, and put the brood box on top. That way the queen would migrate up top. But in this case, we didn't have to do it. This hive, I just did that because they were all up here. And I've got a couple more cold days coming next week, and I want that queen to migrate up there and start using the brood box and laying. So I'm going to put these frames back in here. We'll take this super off and set it on the ground, and we'll go in the brood box. We should see a lot of brood. We should see where that queen's been laying like crazy. She ought to be a laying machine. Fingers crossed. That's what we want to see the queen. So when I... <clears throat> when I take this box off, I'm give them a little smoke. Just let them know I'm coming too. And then sometimes a trick that I've learned, because I have struggled picking these boxes up when I first started keeping bees, and I'd be making a, a big old mess. Uh, they've got these boxes glued together with sap. It comes from trees, and it's propolis. And so you're going to crack it on the edge using your hive tool. But peek when you get it open to make sure you don't have any frames stuck on, on this bottom. Which, if you did see that, you'd take your hive tool and just kind of pry them loose nice and easy. So when I pick up this box, the front side's still glued. I'm going to twist it just a little bit and that broke that seal. So 
okay. Let's see these girls right there. Okay, got all these bees up top. Sweet honeybees, these workers. These are worker bees, girls. Girls do all the work in the beehive. Queen lays the egg. Drones are only good for one thing, mating purposes. And if they're still around in the fall and the winter, guess what happens to them? The girls love this. They kick them old fat slobs out of the house. They don't need them in there. So. All right. We're going to go in here and see where we're at. So one thing I like to do is start on the side, bust this side frame loose a little bit. They got it real tight and Ooh, snug in here. Okay, well I'm going to end this video. Y'all have a good day.